Okay, this is section 3.4 from chapter 3, integrating with inverse trigonometric functions. Um, we're going to mainly use our results from previous section, uh, the arc sine differentiates to 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared and arc tan to 1 over 1 plus x squared. Uh, so, the questions that we're going to be solving will involve expressions that have some thing to do with uh, 1 over square root of something minus x squared uh, and 1 over 1 plus x squared or similar to those. Okay, so the first example of that type uh, actually asks you to derive it or show that. So there's two approaches. Um, I'll do the what book does secondly, but I'll do my approach um, uh, to begin with. If the question asks you to use appropriate substitution to show that this expression integrates to arc sine x over a plus c, then my instinct says let's use the substitution u equals arc sine x over a and you'll see it will work nicely so we are going to undo the arc so rewrite it by putting sine with u and then you've got x over a so remember we need to differentiate our substitution first of all so let's get it ready to, to be differentiated so let's differentiate it so this will go i'll use um, dx du is equal to a cos u so let's just split to need to find the replacement for dx is a cos u du okay so you can start putting the um, substituting for dx and for x for x we will substitute a sine u so our integral is going to be 1 over square root of a squared then a sine u squared and then instead of dx we're going to put a cos u du okay so this will become a squared sine squared so it will be a square root of 1 minus sine squared u in the denominator and then you've got, we'll put a cos u in the numerator. Okay, a's will cancel. And then we've got cos u. And you can see that this is cos u as well. So the integral uh, of 1 is going to be u. But u is going to be um, arc sine. x over a plus c there you go so that actually uh, this result is in the formula booklet if you see a function of that type as long as you can work out what a is you will be able to um, just state the result pretty much straightforwardly unless they ask you to derive it in a certain way okay the book actually does um, the following okay which is also a good way of doing it so they 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 are planning to use this so they want to have one minus something in the in the under the square root so they factorize a squared out and then the square root of a squared gives you a outside and then you've got to divide these terms by a so you a squared so it's one minus and then x over a squared. And now we're going to use the substitution of u equals to x over a. So du dx is equal to 1 over a. So du is equal to 1 over a dx. Um, oh yeah. A bit slow here 
there you go dx dx is adu so let's do the substituting so you've got instead of dx we'll put a du you've got a in the denominator and then you've got one minus x over a can be replaced with u squared a cancels and you've got one over square root of one minus u squared this is simply the derivative of arc sine x so if i undo differentiating differentiated answer i'll get arc sine u but my u is x over a There you go. So both results are perfectly okay. Use substitution and um, you've got the answer. So um, we'll have a look at the two main results that you'll be able to use. They are, like I said, in the formula booklet. So the first one is um, the one you've just derived uh, is 1 over square root of a squared minus x squared dx. That goes to arc sine x over a. You need to be able to derive it. So, like I've done in my with my substitution in earlier in the uh, example before, right? The second result is for arc tan. So, if you've got the expression like this, this time you'll have one over a, and then you've got arc tan x over a. There you go. So these, these are just, just results, and we can now go to example 10. So example 10 asks you to find 4 over 5 plus x squared dx. Okay, so you've got the two results. There's a list of those um, in, the, in the formula booklet. You're looking for the one with something plus, or a squared plus x squared. Um, without square root in the denominator, so it's going to go to arc tan. We need to work out what a is. So from this example, you can see that a squared is equal to 5. So a is going to be square root of 5. So that will go to 1 over, so we've got 4 on the top, so it's 4 times 1 over square root of 5, arc tan, x over root 5 plus c so obviously we may write it the coefficient you can uh, rationalize the denominator as well if you prefer um, but i'm going to leave it like that okay uh, there you go you're not asking to ask to evaluate it so we'll go to example 11 Okay, so with this example, we are for part A, a very similar example, but this time you don't have x squared on its own, you've got a number in front of it. So, in order to be able to use our, again, it's going to be arc tan, you've got to have x on its own. Here you've got a 9, so you need to get rid of that 9. So I'm just going to factorise the 9 outside the bracket, so I have x squared but what do i need to times it by to get 25 well 25 over 9 you just effectively divide these two by 9 okay so if you prefer to take the 1 9th out so it's not annoying you you may do so or not right so find what a is a squared is worth 25 ninths so a must be 5 over 3 you always go for positive root here so it's 1 ninth uh, let's put the formula times 1 over 5 thirds arctan x over 5 thirds plus c tidy this up pop it into the calculator or however you do it the uh, 9 and 3 will cancel and you've got 3 times 5 to give you 15 and then you've got arc tan 
Again, dividing by 5 thirds is the same as multiplying by 3 fifths. So I've got 3x over 5. There you go. So that's our part A. For part B, we are asked to deal with a different um, um, integral. But it's going to be a definite integral, so we've got limits. Um, have I got my glasses? Uh, I think it's minus root 3 over 4, and then root 3 over 4 on the top. So it's 1 over square root of 3 minus 4x squared dx. So again, you go for the one that uh, is under the square root and you've got something take away and you've got a number of x squared. So you're going to use 1 over square root of a squared minus x squared equals to arc sine x over a. Okay. So first step is to make sure that you've got just one x squared. So you need to take that four out. Be careful with these. When you take the four out, you need to take in square root of four, because let me just do that under carefully here. So you've got four and then in brackets, three quarters, because you need to divide everything in brackets. And then this will go square root of four, which is two square root of three quarters minus x squared, if that makes sense. So if you do it a few times, you may uh, go straight for that. Just be really, really careful. Okay, so two, and then you've got three quarters minus x squared. Uh, there's one over in the numerator, and we've got dx. So we're going to use arc sine. Let's find what a is. A squared is equal to 3 quarters, so A is equal to root 3 over 2. So let's pop everything into the uh, square brackets, arc sine, x over square root of 3 over 2. And the limits are minus root 3 over 4 and root 3 over 4. So you've got arc sine, but then you can flip it to write just two, um, two x over root three, if you like. Okay, so we're going to put the top limit, so it's two root three times root 3 over 4 minus arc sine 2 root 3 times minus root 3 over 4. So that's going to be arc sine half. And then arc sine of minus a half. Okay, so arc sine a half is going to be pi over 6 minus arc sine of minus a half. So sine is equal to minus a half or minus pi over 6. Remember, um, arc sine is defined between minus pi over 2 and pi over 2 for the that's the range so you you can't go past pi over 2 it's got to be between those two values so it's going to be um i think i forgot uh, a half somewhere yeah there's a half come here let me just pop that here let me just show it to you this is a half that i've forgotten okay so it's a half here a half a half a half a half and a half okay times so this is 2 pi over 6 which is pi over 3 so the answer is pi over 6 that makes sense 
Okay, obviously you can pop these into the calculator and check whether that's correct. The calculator is not going to give you exact answer, it's going to give you the equivalent decimal. Okay, the last example before exercise 3D. So this one I would say if you were to get a question on this, this and they wanted to make it more challenging, I guess. Um or worth more marks because it's not really that challenging once you get used to it um, this is the question you would be asked okay so there is a problem with this question obviously you've got 1 minus 4x squared so what you're going to use is uh, your arc sine so let me just pop it on the side here I always quote the formula you are using uh, in your exam it's just good practice and common sense. Okay, so that's definitely what's going on in the denominator. But the problem is you don't have one. So here, if you've got a linear expression, you've got to split it into two. The sum of two expressions. x over 1 minus 4x squared dx plus 1 over square root of 1 minus 4x squared dx. There you go. And we're going to work on both of these separately. So let's do this one first. And then we'll do this one over here. Okay. So this here, it's not going to be one of... Uh, it's not going to be arc sine. This one is definitely going to be arc sine. So with this one, because you should spot that you've got something going on with a you know in the denominator with a power so we're going to use substitution so we are going to use substitution u equals to 1 minus 4x squared let's differentiate it so du dx is equal to minus 8x so dx minus 8x dx is equal to du so x dx because we've got to replace x dx here is going to be equal to minus 1 8 du so let's do the substituting so we've got minus 1 8 du over square root of u that's quite a simple one so it's going to be minus 1 eighth, and then you've got u to the power of minus a half. Add 1 to the power, divide by that power, you're going to have u to the power of a half over a half. There you go. So uh, minus a quarter. And u is uh, 1 minus 4x squared. So the power of half gives me a square root so that's our first half done over here you just use the standard result but you want to get rid of that four so we need to factorize the square root of four out so it will be a half and then you are left if you divide this by four you get a quarter minus x squared so here our a is going to be a half because a squared is a quarter and just use the formula. So that will go to a half because we've got a half here. Arc sine x over a half. So it's a half arc sine 2x. So let's put these two answers together. So the answer will be minus a quarter square root of 1 minus 4x squared plus a half arc sine 2x plus c unless there are limits i don't think there are any limits uh, just double check
Okay, I love it when I make a mistake. I've made a transcript mistake um, when I've split my fraction over here. I should have put four in the numerator, which effectively makes this answer uh, four times too small. So we just times it by four. There you go, which means that I've got four here. So let's do it, write it fully. Let's do a purple color. So it's minus a quarter square root of one minus four x squared plus two arc sine two x plus c. Boom. Great. Okay, so now you can go into exercise 3D and have a go.